Transcervical catheterization permitting intrauterine insemination requires specialized equipment, a rigid vaginoscope, also known as a cystourethroscope. Standard polypropylene urinary catheters are actually used to enter the uterine lumen. The vaginoscope consists of three working parts, the fiber optic telescope, the protective sheath with working channels, and the bridge with ports. We'll first put the bridge into the sheath, then we'll put the telescope into the sheath, Attach the camera. And the light cable. The scope accommodates an eight French catheter. We swab the external vulva with gauze moistened with isopropyl alcohol to remove estrel fluids to minimize interference with the lens. Lubrication is generally not needed in a bitch and estrus, but if used, should be non-spermicidal. Care must be taken to avoid entering the clitoral fossa or urethra. The scope is directed dorsally in the vestibule until the actual vagina is entered. Generally, lubrication is applied to the sheath after the scope has been passed into the vagina and not initially to avoid interfering with the lens. Once the vaginal lumen is entered, the degree of crenulation can be evaluated, which correlates with the fertile period after ovulation. The scope is passed cranially its rigidity permits negotiation through the vaginal folds. The dorsal median fold is used as a landmark. At the end of the dorsal median fold, a narrowing at the paracervical region creates the false cervix, which appears as a horizontal slit. The actual cervix is craniovental to this. The canine cervix in estrus has a rosette appearance. The cervical os is located at the center of the rosette, usually appearing ventral. Once visualized, the polypropylene catheter is advanced into the os slightly. The scope must then be lowered so that it is parallel to the cervical canal, permitting the catheter to be advanced into the uterus. The catheter should be passed as far cranially into a horn as it will go comfortably. No more than two cc's of inseminate should be placed through the catheter to reduce reflux into the vagina. Observe for reflux initially and if present, reposition the catheter. Use a small amount of air to empty the entire dose from the catheter lumen. 